This is the XUV 500's headlamp assembly. That's the low beam and that's the high beam. The low beam light is projector type. Now let's discuss the headlamp beams. When we talk about headlamp beams, two keywords pop up in our head: high beam and low beam. These are the two beam types that are available. Now let's go into the details of high beam and low beam. High beams are symmetric beams. This is the top view of the vehicle which is running on a road with high beam on. If you view the beam along the longitudinal axis of the car, you'll observe that the beam is exactly symmetric. That's why it's called symmetric beam and the reach is pretty high. High beams are used while driving on highways at high speeds. At around 110 or 120 km per hour speeds, you need to know what lies ahead. In this figure you can see that the light is equally distributed on the right as well as on the left side as we have symmetric beams in high beams. When you see a vehicle with the high beam on from the front it looks like this. In this case you can see the glare which the oncoming vehicle from the opposite lane will actually experience. This could be very disturbing. So it is recommended not to use high beam for city driving. High beams are only for high speed highway driving. Moving on to low beam. The term that is used here is asymmetric beam. Here, if you observe the beam along the longitudinal axis of the vehicle, you'll see that it is not symmetric. It has some additional spread on the right hand side and on the left it has additional reach. If you see a vehicle with the low beam on, from the opposite direction the glare is not that pronounced. The beam is rather dipped more towards the bottom. So low beam should be used when you drive in the city and this is the visibility from the driver's perspective. Here you can see if it's a right hand drive vehicle like in India the lane in which the car is being driven in that lane the reach would be more as compared to the other lane. On the right side the dark zone which you see is because the light from the right headlamp is dipping downwards. In a way it is much more safer for the driver inside the oncoming car as the bright light does not hinder his visibility. When it comes to low beam patterns for Indian vehicles the standard that is used is the European standard. The low beam pattern is as it's shown over here. This is the dark region. This dark region prevents any additional light from hitting the eyes of the oncoming driver and on the left side you can clearly see the 15 degree upward sweep. This is the European asymmetric beam. European asymmetric beam is used in India and some other countries as well. This is the other type which is the asymmetric American beam. Now if you compare the European and the American asymmetric beam side by side, you'll see a sharp cutoff in the case of the European asymmetric beam. But in the case of the American asymmetric beam, the intensity varies and slowly dims. The European asymmetric beam which is used in India and Europe, the sharp dark light cutoff is available and you have a 15 degree upward sweep in the case of right hand drive. Hence the illusion of the dark zone is created on the top right side of the headlamp which is anyways for safety reasons. It is as per the European standards. 